Hello and welcome. My name is Rev Bowen from Simply Waldorf. In this video, I will demonstrate how to deliver a math lesson for an early grade. This is specific. This one is specific to first grade. And we are using the character, the characters, Princess Plus and Tamara Times. You can rename these characters, but we bring the processes through these characters so that the children have something to relate to and to live into for the activity of each math process. I have derived this lesson out of the story that was presented in the demonstration story lesson, The Dog and Its Reflection. Um, I hope you can see the connection between how we tell the story on day one and how we work with the math lesson on day two. I have also provided some additional resources in the description below that will help you prepare and deliver a math lesson such as this to your students. And I hope you will check out the free story video so that you see the story that this lesson comes from. I'm gonna use some items here, some polished rocks, for counting, and um, I'm pulling this lesson out of the story about the dog and his reflection. But you'll see how I'm very free, and you are very free, to just use that imagery and create a lesson that you need. So if I wanted to work, for instance, on addition and, and multiplication, because they're so closely related as we're about to see, uh, I could just use the story of the dog and I could say, now on a different day, the dog went and we'll say he learned his lesson about looking in the reflection. So he went across the bridge and he found some food. He found three morsels and that's all he could carry in his mouth at a time. And so he crossed the river and brought three morsels of food home at a time. And he crossed that bridge there and back four times. So we have, well, let's count them. Three, six, nine, 12. We have 12 morsels of food. And they came in these groups of three. Let's put them up here. So when I want to write this the way Princess Plus sees this story, she says, yes, 12 morsels of food equals, and she sees three plus three plus three plus three. Three plus three plus three plus three. And we know that this is equal because we can count it. Three, six, nine, 12. That's 12. Yes. We also know that Princess Plus has a good friend. And that good friend is Tamara Times. Tamara Times uh, likes to write things up a bit more quickly or efficiently than Princess Plus. And she says, well, it's true. I mean, this is true. There's nothing wrong with it. But I see threes. I see three four times. So I'm going to write it as 12 equals three times four. And just to remember that this is the picture we're looking at. Three times four, 12 equals three times four, is this picture. It's equivalent, but it's not the same to say that it's this picture. That is four times three, and it's a different picture. That's four times three. This 
is three times four. So just to remember that, because I want them to remember it, I'll draw the picture over here. You know, and you could draw whatever you want for morsels of food, but I'll just do these similar shapes of these rocks. And I want them grouped in threes. If I have to, I can even emphasize the groupings. So that we're really clear, this is three times four. This is not four times three. And there we go. It's a simple lesson that I'm demonstrating here, but for the first grader to become really confident and clear about these things, to know the relationship between addition and multiplication, which is such a solid, clear relationship, even the way we picture it. Um, this is a great step in terms of uh, numeracy, their number sense, as well as their practice with the uh, processes, as well as their practice of writing clear expressions. And then we always want to have them read these equations. So they could say the story's fine. Twelve morsels of food were brought in groups of three. So one group of three, two groups of three, three groups of three, and four groups of three. But we also want them to read the pure mathematical expression. Twelve equals three plus three plus three plus three. Twelve equals three times four. There we go. And now in math, to be clear, we didn't do that picture for a second day. The math rhythm is a two-day rhythm. We hear a story one day, and then the second day, we do some kind of activity to play with the lesson of the story. Now, we still review the story. We want to wake up the images, of course, but we don't do an artistic activity in math. We do uh, an active math activity. We want to put it into movement. And there are all sorts of ways. It doesn't have to be confined to something that fits on the desktop. But this is an easy thing to demonstrate. Um, you could go outside and move big rocks if you wanted to. Uh, but regardless of what we do, we want it to be um, very clear so that when they're writing it on the page, there's a clear association with what they did and what they're writing. That's the key. And that is how we can pull either a language arts lesson or a math lesson out of any story. I hope you enjoyed that lesson. You can see now how the math lesson is derived from the story. We use the imaginations to build the lesson so that the child, the student, is more invested, more connected to what we're actually doing. Math does not have to be cold and abstract. It can be part of a living experience. I hope you'll also look in the description below for the other companion lesson, the language arts lesson, where once again, we pull that lesson out of the story. Please visit our website at simplywaldorf.com, where we provide you with additional resources to help simplify your Waldorf homeschooling experience.